these workers, I ended up going to Kenya to meet them. They became deeply traumatized by their work. What they had to do was read through reams of the worst text on the internet and put it into these detailed taxonomies of is this sexual content, is this violent content, is this hate speech harassment. This one worker in particular, Mo Fado Kinye, in my book, he was on the sexual content team and was being exposed to just all of this sexual child sexual abuse text. And his personality totally changed. His he was originally very extroverted. He no longer could come home and play with his stepdaughter because her presence would make him seize up and feel really anxious from all of the memories of what he had seen. And so one day she asks, I would like fish for dinner. He goes out to the store, buys three fish, one for him, one for her, one for the stepdaughter. And by the time he comes back, all their bags are packed and they're gone. And she just sends him a text. I don't understand the man you've become anymore. We're never coming back. And this is, I, I, I really try to hammer home in the book that this is not necessary. It is a explicit downstream consequence of the approach that OpenAI took of scraping the whole internet and using polluted data sets.